Hi guys, how are you? As you can see, this is my first video with short hair and this is a vegan tag. So I was nominated by this sweet and wonderful girl. She has a Spanish YouTube channel called Vegan Eat Mix and her channel is in Spanish, all vegan recipes and it's wonderful. I love her channel. So I want to thank everyone that is subscribed to my channel. Thank you for your support and to all the new subscribers, welcome. So in this time, we're going to get to know each other better. So if you're a vegan, this is something you can answer in the comment section or maybe you can do a video as well and for those of you who are not vegan this can give you an idea of what we eat or what our lifestyle might be because every vegan is different so this is gonna be from my experience so let's get started so first question what's your name and how do you like people to call you so my name is Rosalind but everyone that is very close to me calls me Rosie for short and it's sweet number two how long have you been vegan so on april 12 i turned four years vegan why did you go vegan for me this is in two parts number one my sister she was my inspiration i saw my sister being vegetarian she was the first in our family to make a lifestyle change in the way we ate and just seeing that change just made me be more curious about it and i think reason number two for me was just watching undercover videos about how the process is done about how bad the animals are treated at the factory farms and that just made me completely change and that just made me not want to be part of it and i no longer wanted to eat these type of foods and again it was just more like align my compassion for my pets because if i love pets why eat other animals so that was like my main thought how I started to see things that basically I just wanted to love all animals and have compassion for all of them and just be ethical basically and then along the way you start finding out that it's not only for the animals but it's also about your health it is very healthy to be vegan and it's also great for the environment so it's it's like we all win the animals your health the planet so everything is linked together so i just love that how do you define your meal plan so for me i need to have three portions so one is grains one is protein and one is vegetables so as long as i have all three portions of each i i'm good to go and i don't worry about protein or calories because i know i'm gonna be getting everything that i need so for greens it could be like rice pasta bread noodles there are so many things uh, for protein it could be tofu beans lentils tempeh and even vegetables have protein and for veggies i just eat any veggie that i have at the moment or anything that i find at the grocery store is it hard to be vegan no at the beginning it is because you are just making a lifestyle change and for me i guess the hard part was feeling like i was the only one like i didn't have anyone like none of my family members were vegans or none of my friends so i guess that was the main part just being able to meet other like-minded people that can understand you but then little by little i started finding more and more people on facebook facebook groups and then i just started finding more and more youtube channels that are for vegans so that has been like a blessing and then how do you obtain protein my favorite i think is lentils and tofu but there's also other options like tempeh seitan there are so many different kinds of beans, um, even soy milk has protein and vegetables, so... Do you eat fish? This is a question that I get asked all the time if I eat fish. No, being a vegan means not eating any type of animal meat, so no, I wouldn't eat fish. Either way, before going vegan, I never really liked seafood, I never liked shrimp, and then I never got to try lobster or crab. It's something that I never got to try and it's something that I never craved trying. So um, the only thing that I would eat before was tilapia, but that was it. So um, eating fish is not even vegetarian because that would make you more of a pescatarian. Vegetarians don't eat any type of animal meat, but they do eat all of those foods. 
that are derived from animals like like milk, eggs, honey. But as a vegan, we don't eat anything that is animal related. So no milk, eggs, honey, meat, nothing, any of that. What does your family and friends think about you being a vegan? So um, my family has been so supportive, especially with my sister. She was the first one. So when I went vegan, it was so easier for me. But when we have events, they always make sure to have something that we're gonna like, that is so caring and that is so loving of them to do. They have been so supportive. And as far as my parents, they no longer drink cow's milk. And now they only drink either soy milk or almond milk. And by the way, my new favorite milk is cashew milk, which still just started selling. I love cashew milk. I think I like that one even more than almond milk. Yeah, and they even stopped eating red meat, so that's great. And as far as my friends, they haven't said anything. They've been supportive and they have been really respectful. So yeah, everyone around me has been really great. So what do you do in social events to maintain your lifestyle? So in that case, what I like to do, I know that not all the time they will have vegan options. So what I like to do, I eat at home and not something that will make me full. Just in case they do have vegan options, I still want to be able to eat there. So in case they don't have anything, I also don't want to have an empty stomach. So I like to eat beforehand or even have a snack just in case, but most likely they'll always have something to eat or something else that you can do. You can take your own food and eat it there. And that way people can see that vegans not only eat salads, that we can eat a variety of foods. And if I go eat elsewhere, there's two things that I like to do with the server. If they know what vegan means, then I trust their recommendations. They will very quickly know what to recommend on the menu. And there are times when they have no idea what I'm talking about. So to make it easy on them and for me, I just say that I'm allergic to dairy. And that way you make sure that they will give you the right foods. <laughs> do you miss any animal products? So. If I miss any animal products, no. So once you know why you're a vegan, why you're doing it, everything becomes so clear. Everything makes sense. Sometimes I admit a food smells really great, but once I see it, I don't find it appetizing. And the way I think about it, a real carnivore or omnivore, they would eat a whole animal without cutting the animal or without picking which part of the body to eat. And they would just eat it raw they would not cook the meat or or add spices or condiments to add flavor i think most people the main reason why we like or we used to like meat in my case is because of the taste because we cook the meat and we add all these spices to make it so good and flavorful but if we would eat meat the way it's supposed to be raw meat i don't think anyone would like it what are your favorite foods that you make frequently so what are my favorite foods? For example, if it's for breakfast, I love making oatmeal the night before. That way in the morning, it's ready to eat. It's just good to go. And then for lunch, most likely I'll make a bagel with hummus and guacamole. And that is so simple, but it's so yummy. And then for dinner, I like rice or pasta and then mix it up with veggies. And that is so good. So I'm always trying to eat different foods, but those are like the main ones. How is your life better as a vegan? So before, I always used to have migraines and that stopped as soon as I stopped eating chicken. Um, my acne reduced a lot. I still suffer with acne and my skin is so sensitive to the foods that I eat. So if I'm eating good, it will show on my skin. If I'm eating bad, because even if you're a vegan, we can be eating a lot of junk food. And I know for me, sometimes I eat chocolate, chips, cookies, fried foods, it shows on my skin. My skin gets bad and I know everyone is different. Some people have great skin and they eat so bad and I haven't had the necessity to go to a doctor because I feel so fine and if I get a cold, it's not as bad as before. So that's what I like. Is it expensive to be vegan? Not at all. Even the most regular foods are so cheap to get like rice, beans. They're so cheap, even pasta. 
What I like to do at my local grocery store, they always have promotions going on like buy one get one free or buy one get one half off. So I always make sure to get foods that are in season and they will most likely be cheap. Of course, if you buy organic, it's going to be a little bit more or if you go out to eat, it's going to be a little bit more. But that just goes the same with steak houses. If you go out and eat, you'll be paying a little bit more. Do you enjoy veganism? I love it. I love being informed. I love this lifestyle. I don't think I'll ever go back. It's just something that once you know it, it's like it's so eye-opening and it's like you're taking blinders off. And again, it's so much fun. Thanks to veganism, I got to try so many new foods that I never heard of before. Like acai. I had no idea what an acai bowl was. Um, quinoa goji berries, maca, lucuma, all these superfoods. Like I had no idea what they were, but thanks to veganism, I've tried so many new foods. What was the hardest part of becoming vegan? So for me, I guess in the beginning, um, when you're not sure what to eat, you're kind of confused and you kind of want a support system. So like you said, um, when you're making the new transition, and you're not sure what to eat and you're worried about if you're gonna be eating the right foods or not so um, when I went vegan I got this book and it's called The Kind Diet and this just made everything so easy for me The Kind Diet by Alicia Silverstone thanks to this book I learned so much I made a grocery list when I had to go for the first time after reading this book and it was so life-changing and she makes it so easy to understand everything that you will need so this is a book that I recommend and it's full of recipes as well so I guess that was the hard part just not knowing what to eat but in the end in reality everything is so easy and then what do you do on a date so in case I am going on a date it's not something that I like to bring up but I do like to mention that I am a vegan what I find so sweet is when it's time to go on a date and we're gonna pick a place to eat I let them pick and one time this guy he said that he wanted to go to a vegan place and that was just a surprise for me and that to me just means that they are so respectful of my lifestyle and that they are so open-minded to trying new foods and in the end it works out fine because that way they know that the food is so yummy and it's healthy at the same time and those are all the questions so all the info if you want to learn more about veganism about books or documentaries i'm gonna leave a link in the description box that you can check out and thank you for watching and if you have liked this video you can give it a like that lets me know that you have enjoyed this video and you can subscribe to my channel that way every time that i make a new video you get a notification and you can find me on all social media accounts i have twitter pinterest facebook instagram and just recently i got tumblr which i'm still getting used to and i'll see you guys next time take care bye Welcome back.